To emboss or engrave text around a complex curve, we need to use a boolean and a way to get our text to deform along a path that describes the shape. So we basically need to do this in three steps. Set up the path, set up the text, and then connect the text to the path, but not necessarily in that specific order. So let's drop in some text. So add text. We'll just drop in a text object, an editable object which we can just orientate where we need it to be. Then in object data properties for the text, we can change some of its properties. So we might want to change its alignment so that the origin is center of mass of the object. So for that, we use alignment. And all we need to do is change the horizontal and vertical settings to center. That'll change the position of the text, so if we draw the boundary box around our object again, the origin will be in the center of it. We can change the font. Font, click on the folder, select a font, remembering that the more complex or the more acute the font is in terms of its design and the angles that are involved, the more complicated this can make the Boolean operation later on. So let's choose that one. Text. Let's hide the cylinder for the moment so we can see our text and setting that up. So that's the font. To change the text, toggle into edit mode, backspace, type. Exit edit mode, back into object mode, and that is our text. So how that looks in relation to the shape right now is like so. And that's the text set up. So we've changed the font and we've changed its alignment. So next we need to convert this into a mesh. So select, object, convert, mesh. This process doesn't work on text objects, only works on meshes. So convert mesh in the convert to pop-up, set keep original. This will keep the original text and make sure that target is set to mesh. And this creates a duplicate mesh of our original text object, which we can now hide select our text and then we're ready to modify this a little bit and for that we want to go into modifier properties add modifier solidify give this some depth here we can change its thickness and change its offset so that the origin point is center of the text roughly speaking so type zero, and that centers the object. We need to do that for the Boolean operation to function correctly, otherwise it won't clip the surface. Let's turn on wireframe so we can see the font and its structure, because what we need to do next, modifiers, let's minimize that, is either add a decimate modifier and set that to planar, which will reconstitute the surface and restructure the mesh. Or, because this is a curved surface, we can use remesh. And this will similarly reconstitute the mesh, but it will do it in quads. Set sharp as the type, disable, remove, disconnected, and then increase the octree depth until our font appears reasonably well rendered. Keep in mind too that this density increase will affect Boolean again later on, like so. So that's the text setup. Next we need to set up the path for the curve. 
So this is our curved object, and we're going to use this center line as our path. So edit mode, loop select, or select the loop or edges that will be used as our path. And then what we do is mesh, duplicate. Duplicate that. So there's our duplicate. Reset, so that's escape. And then we need to separate. So mesh, separate, selection. We need to separate this out to a completely unique object. Exit edit mode back into object mode. Select our path. Let's just hide the cylinder. What we need to do to this is convert it into a curve. So select object, convert, curve. And this will create a vector based path. Again, we'll get another convert to pop up, keep original and set curve as the target or we'll make sure it's set as the target. And that again will create a duplicate from our original. So we can hide the original and select the path. So what we're going to expect to be able to do is have our text follow this path. And for that, we just select the text and in modifiers, so modifier properties, we add a curve modifier. Add, set the target, curve object, so we can either select it from the box or the selection list, or we can use the eyedropper and just click on it in the 3D view. And our text jumps into place. And whilst we're in this particular view, just to manipulate the text, we drag perpendicular to the curve. So if our text is backwards as it is right now, we can address that or fix that in two ways. We can either select the curve, edit mode, make sure all the points are selected, so select all, and then in segments, switch direction. So segments, switch direction. Or alternatively, exit, we can select the text itself. And then in object properties, we can change the rotation, X, Y, or Z, depending on the orientation and the position of the text. So in this case, it might be the Z, 180, and that flips the text around. So that's our text following the path. The next thing is obviously to set up the Boolean. So let's unhide the cylinder. There's our text. Select the shape, modifier properties, and we want to add Boolean. We need to set the object or the target object, which is our text. So we can select it from the list or again, use the eyedropper and click on it in the 3D view. That will set the Boolean. So if we now hide the text, we'll see the Boolean effect in place. And we do, but that because we are using a complex curve, the Boolean operation can't distinguish correctly between a concave shape and a convex shape when it comes to boolean across a threshold. And that can lead to these sorts of issues. This can be fixed to a certain degree by changing the solver to fast, but it doesn't always result in the correct effect. And in fact, we can see here that the Boolean is inverted on the concave section of the mesh and outverted or 
correctly rendered on the convex side of the mesh. So keep that in mind, but that is Boolean along a complex shape. So if we just, and we can see the effect of this, if we just convert this into a bounds object, and then we can trace the path by moving the origin along the mesh. But that is embossing or engraving text using Boolean along a complex curve.